But first, this didn't just got a ton of new updates. We currently have a server outage that I'm going to go over, as well as there being some compensation for the opening day issues. We also got to talk about some of the beta reward stuff and what's going on in the situation there. Additionally, I'm going to go over some tips on the orb mechanic, as well as a few others, and a whole bunch more. What's up, world? It's Utopia back in with another video. Today, we're checking out all things the first descent. Okay, so let's just jump right into the obvious. We did just have a server outage. So this was made aware to people about 40 minutes ago upon recording this video. We did also have a dev tweet out that happened about 20 minutes ago. So it seems like we're still having some server error issues and people aren't able to play the game as of current. They went on here, again, this was on the Discord, a notice of connection issues. They said they noticed that the game connections are temporarily unavailable. Again, they apologize for the inconvenience caused by this issue, and they are promptly working to identify the cause and resolve it. Once it's resolved, we'll make a prompt notice. Again, more than likely, we'll probably get some compensation for this. When this type of thing happens, they usually are pretty compensating for that. Again, we also did have a tweet from the first Descendants account that happened a little bit ago too at 11.35 a.m. CST. So again, about 30-ish minutes ago from me recording this video or the audio. Again, if anything changes, more than likely it might by the time this video goes live, but I will put a pinned comment down below when the servers do come back up. Now we also have some known issues with some of the things that are happening. I know I had a ton of comments in my last video. There's been a ton of discussion about the beta rewards. I didn't receive any of my beta rewards, not a single one. I know for a fact that I use the exact same account as this one currently. In fact, I made sure that I used this account that I used previously because I had made a new one for my creator code, but I didn't end up using that one. I used the one that I used back then with Steam. So I know for a fact that I did all this stuff and I even have footage of that as I've showcased before. Hopefully, again, they do fix that stuff as again, I haven't got any of those or beta rewards. They do actually go over that and they finally did address that here. I know that was a big contention point and concern for that overall. They did say here that there was an issue with the partial distribution of beta test rewards. It has been identified that some rewards for participating in the 2022 Steam beta test and 2023 cross-play open beta test have not been distributed. They're currently verifying the information regarding the undelivered rewards and will redistribute them as soon as possible. So again, hopefully they do redistribute that. The only concerning part here is they said the partial distribution. As I didn't get any of my rewards yet, I know that I've played in the open beta and possibly even in the Steam beta test. So I should be getting something there. Again, I'll let you guys know if I do get my stuff. And please do update me if you guys get yours. I will make an update video when those do get posted. As well as possibly put down a pinned comment down below if that happens sometime soon. Jumping over though, we did have some day one compensation for the issues that happened. Essentially, people weren't able to buy the caliper stuff. And the whole store was down. And there was a lot of issues there. So we do have this post here for the compensation notice for the opening day issues. So first thing they say here, we sincerely apologize once again for the inconvenience caused by the issues that occurred during the opening day. As a token of our apology we have prepared compensation we will continue to strive to provide more stable service it's kind of funny because we just had a server outage today although this game's launch has been really good and this is going to happen it's going to tend to happen with all live service games so still there is some good stuff there now they do have a section here where they say recipients and on how to claim the reward all descendants who log in until sunday july 7th which for me it's 9 59 a.m or cst will receive compensation in their mailbox. So even if you didn't play the first Descendant, if this is your first day jumping in and you didn't even experience the day one issues, you're still gonna be compensated up until July 7th, which is really cool to hear there. They do say here though, that the mail will expire and it does have an expiration date. So compensation mail will expire Sunday, July 14th at 9.59 a.m., which again is CST, which is my time. So you will have a week to claim this. Again, they do mention here, please make sure you do claim the compensation before the mail expires. And just going over those bonuses really quickly, these are all 30% increases, which are three day durations. Those do apply to the gold boost, the Kuiper shards, the descendant XP and weapon XP, as well as a two times matte red paint. So you do get that 30% XP increase for three days for all of those. And you get that two times matte red paint. However, we'll make a note with the matte red paint, you're only able to apply that to skin. So if your descendant is a default descendant and you do not have a skin for it, you actually cannot apply any custom paint. Just a bit of a note there as of that's what I've seen so far and that's what people have been talking about. 
They also do make a claim here that boost items will be active immediately upon claiming them from the mailbox. So if you do take these in, just note that immediately upon claiming those in the mailbox, they will be active. So you can't just take them out of your mailbox and use them at a later date. They are active the second that you do claim those. Just a fair warning there. They also gave an additional notice on the Twitch drop rewards delay. Although the issue causing the delay in Twitch drops has been resolved, and they have identified an additional issue where some rewards are still not being delivered, they are currently in contact with Twitch to resolve this issue. And once it is resolved, they'll notify you through a separate notice. So it looks like they're going to have to be redistributed again, and that's going to have to be on Twitch's end there. So hopefully Twitch does figure that out with the first Ascendant team kind of soon. Again, if there's any updates with that, I'll be sure to cover it in a future video and possibly a pinned comment down below. Moving on, though, we do have a post here talking about the three orbs mechanic. Now, every boss seems to have this three orbs mechanic, or at least these mini bosses in all these dungeons. It does seem a bit overdone. Some people are here talking about that it is a bit overdone and that it needs to be changed changed or some variation there. However, it seems like some people are confused on the orb mechanic and they don't really understand it. Some people think that you have to destroy them in order, but that's actually not the case. So it doesn't matter when the boss spawns those orbs, it actually matters on how quickly you take them down in succession. So there is a timer in between each, so once you take one orb down, you must down another orb in a quick succession. So it doesn't matter the order there, it just matters on how quickly you take them down. So the best option there and the best tip there is to get them all kind of low and then take them down altogether. Otherwise, you will have them respawn and this will happen endlessly until you figure it out. Again, it seems like a lot of people are confused with that mechanic there. It is not how they spawn or when they spawn. It is based on taking them down within a certain period of time together. But yeah, I do agree here with the post overall that these orb mechanics are a little overdone or in fact a lot overdone. I do hope they change that sometime soon in the near future as it does get a bit tedious after a while. And I have been starting to feel some burnout at least there as far as that mechanic. A lot of people seem to agree here not really liking the boss immunity mechanic and I definitely agree. I really did think that they were going to change this from the open beta that I played last year and I thought that they were going to get some variation eventually although the void intercept battles are a lot of fun and i do enjoy those so i'm glad those are quite fun we had another post here and it's another quite surprising change that i seen from beta so there was this post here comparing the beta map compared to it in release again i'm really not sure why they changed this but this was the beta map and this one is the map that we have currently i'm actually quite surprised on it i'm really surprised they went backwards on it and kind of changed it i do like they separated the regions out a little bit more but i liked how detailed the beta release map was so i'm not sure why they ended up changing that maybe it was to make it a bit less confusing as some of the territories kind of morphed together in this but i really think if they just would have separated them out a little bit more like they did in beta that would have made more sense but even the map overall makes more sense in beta release with the territories being connected so yeah not sure why they changed that to full release but hopefully they do maybe even change it back or update the new map as i'm not a big fan of it and it seems like a lot of people are kind of stunned that that was the beta map compared to the release map again maybe it was there for some confusion stuff but yeah, I wish they would put it back to what it was. Overall, check cover today's video if you like, like, and subscribe. And until next, deuces.